Well, I've got this pamphlet in my mailbox about the men's shed movement. The men's shed movement. I think the whole thing is a bit pathetic, really. That men, men have to get a, men are so oppressed nowadays that they've got to have their own little getaway called a men's shed. Yes, what does it say? Men's shed. Facility for the local men. I'll just read a few points from it. Features a range of tools and equipment for local blokes to use. A working kitchen and, most importantly, a great wood stove for chilly days. Well, that's nice, isn't it? They can all get together and do some cooking and uh, uh, exchange their re recipes and knitting patterns. Hmm, more than just a place for blokes to get together. So it's more than that. The Shed will run programs educating men on healthy eating and common health problems like diabetes. Isn't that interesting? Because the health of the men's shed movement is run by volunteers, as I understand it. But they've had women's health centres. Uh, you know, the government has set up women's health centres. It's had them set up in at least the uh, capital cities for uh, decades. But you hear, here you have... a. Uh, some uh, little community organization where men can talk about health health problems. Men's sheds have proven to be invaluable in promoting men's health issues. Yes, again, why aren't there men's health centers? I ask you that. Why doesn't the government set up men's health centers? And encouraging them in promoting men's health issues and encouraging them to talk about any issues they may have. Men tend to sweep health problems, both physical and mental, under the carpet and sometimes with terrible consequences. You'd think if men's health really mattered that there would be men's health centers, you know, just like there are for women, but that isn't how things work. Men's shed movement is vital in bringing men and communities together. Well, that's nice. More than 500 men's sheds across Australia utilized by more than 75,000 men. Oh, well, there's a men's movement, obviously, isn't there? Those involved in getting the project up and running for the community. And there's a picture of all men. I, I won't show it. <laughs> Sorry for shaking the camera. I won't show it. But you've got all these old... old they, they, look all, they look all like they're over 50. I'm over 50. <laughs> they look like they're over 50 or 60. And they're all uh, standing out, outside their local men's shed. Once upon a time, men used to be able to go, <laughs> to, go to pubs. And they could get away from women. <laughs> they could get away from women at the local pub. But of course, women wanted to get into pubs, so they got into pubs, and it was no, no longer private. Of course, I don't know if men can get into the women's salons at some of the old pubs where they have a special uh, female-only space. But um, you've got uh, uh, yes, women. Women got into the pubs, didn't they? And uh, will women want to get into the men's sheds? That's and that's a question worth asking, isn't it? They got into the gentlemen's clubs, or they want to get into all the gentlemen's clubs. They want to get into the pubs. Will men, will men want to get into the country with women's association? Yeah. These are a few questions, yes. I think there should be men's health centers. They've had women's health centers for years where women get contraceptive uh, devices. I've got a, a female friend who had an intrauterine device fitted at a, a women's health centre in, in Sydney, and, and the, it was all done for nothing. Yes, and it makes you wonder, doesn't it, about these things? It does make you wonder. Will women want to access? Will women want access to these men's sheds? And what well, that's an interesting thing. My my local men's shed in my local <laughs> in my local village. Uh, it was a female social worker who was helping the, these poor, these poor oppressed men to set up their men's shed. A female social worker, so it wasn't the brothers doing it for themselves. <laughs> it was sisters doing it for the men, showing them how how to set up. Well, they can uh, yes, check, swap their knitting patterns and things. Why I'm amused is because I've been oppressed by uh, a lot of these big butch types of men oppressed me. All my, all my childhood, you know, they were so cruel and na nasty to me. I'm not saying that this applies to all the people in the men's shed movement, but if, well, have you ever seen a, yes, a rooster? You know, have you ever seen a hen-pecked rooster in a cage? If you put a big butch roo rooster in a cage with a hen, he'll, he'll have all blood marks all over his face. 
because in the final event, not <laughs> you know, men aren't always <laughs> the bo boss in the final event. A henpecked husband <laughs> is just like a henpecked rooster. And these poor, het I say heterosexual, of course they're not all heterosexual. <laughs> but I mean, you've got all the, generally, so I'm generalizing, I'm saying you've got all these poor heterosexual men who used to have a, pl a place where they could escape from women and a place to talk and they could go to the pub, but they can't go to the pub anymore because women, <laughs> women are allowed in. <laughs> women are allowed in and now they've got their men's, sh <laughs> they've got their me men's sheds. It's, uh, it's funny that. I get very annoyed when I think about some some of these things. There's a Coogee, there was a, a pool in Coogee in, wi in which I swam years ago, and uh, they've suddenly made that some years ago. The New South Wales government over overrid <laughs> overrode overrid. <laughs> they overrode the uh, New South Wales Anti Discrimination Act to make it a women's only pool. And when the women were lobbying for it, they used any excuse to make out oh it should be a play a safe a safe place for for women to to uh, you know have some 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 bathing there wasn't even an argument that they said oh muslim women need a, a private place which is free from men to, you know to do their bathing in this tidal pool but anyway the anti discrimination act was over overrode overridden and just it's become a, it's been a women's pool for years now Kudji's women's pool and i swam in that pool years ago when anyone used to be able to go there uh, so I always say what's good for the goose is good for the gander. There should be, in Sydney, there should be a boys own, only pool where boys only, where men c can go and just enjoy themselves and get away from women for a while. And if necessary, the, uh, New South Wales Anti-Discrimination Act should be, uh, over, overridden once again. Why not give, uh, the Andrew Boy Charlton pool at, uh, Woolamaloo? Why not let that, uh, give that to the, uh, uh, men of New South Wales, if we can override uh, anti-discrimination law just to suit ourselves. But yes, I think it's all a bit pathetic. Or oh, you've got all these butch types. I know I'm generalizing, but you've got all these butch. Well, they're, they've become, they're emasculated or something, aren't they? They've become, they don't know what to do. Feminism has changed their world and now they, they, they've got no place. They're all, they've all got the blue, <laughs> the blues. They're all, de they're all depressed. I'm generalizing, aren't I? I'm generalizing. Uh, I've got a friend who believes that men's sheds have a place and that they're, you know, women invade, he says women invaded everything. Now they want somewhere to go. Well, I, I suppose they do want somewhere to go. The poor chaps, the poor de dears, the poor lo loves. I don't really, um, hmm, I'm not too sympathetic, am I? Maybe I should be. I do think men should be educated about health matters. I suppose I shouldn't take it too lightly. See ya. That's my vlog for today. How do I turn this thing off?